All right, so in this one, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, data mines just dropped, and there's Broly. You know, purple Broly. I assume he's gonna do more to hybrids or Super Saiyans, obviously. Recording this part before the kids come out, then I'll record the second part of Goten, this Broly, and this Gohan kids, because he's Zenkai. <laughs> okay, I was gonna be blunt with you. Um, he most likely won't see much play, uh, just to be honest. Uh, straight up, firstly, Zenkais that aren't LFs seem to be balanced. If you look at Blue Piccolo, uh, GT Kid Goku, uh, a few others, I can't really think off the top of my head. But non-Zenkai LFs seem to be balanced. And this guy, who is a melee type, won't be run on your hybrid team because you have Goten and Gohan who will exist together cohesively. And then Revival Gohan will not be replaced by this guy. So hybrids, he's a no-go, and Blue Trunks exists, who is a blast-based unit that rocks well and supports LF Gohan. So no. Sun Family. Eh, you have Namek Goku, but if you want to run a strike-based Sun Family, which isn't ideal, eh, I guess. Do what you want. And then movies. And well, I guess Super Saiyans, but movies. Goku is better. Uh, Goku is gonna be a better unit. This guy's gonna want wanna run with uh, a Goku or a Goten. I personally don't know his kit and I refuse to check him before he's Zenkai's, and I see his stuff. But I know he probably wants to run with a Gohan or Goten because he came out with Family Kamehameha, Goku, Goten himself. So, yeah. And then Super Saiyans, he actually will be a decent option. It's like a blue, blue, purple with Bardock, this guy, and then Goten. And then Goten will actually support him well because he's a Gohan, obviously. So, I think he could see a little bit of play on that team, but any other team... I think he is uh, dead on arrival, but watch my opinion change when his, when his kit comes out. Goten has nice sleeves, though. Uh, to go into that, Goten has beautiful sleeves, so that's at least nice. Uh, the new stage we're getting is from the... This isn't from the movie that the Goten's from. It's confusing. This is from when Green Broly comes, because Green Broly is from Broly's Return movie, where they do... Um... Wait, no. Second movie is where the family Kamehameha happens, right? Yeah, 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 because the first movie, Goku kills Broly. Well, um, not kills, but hurts Broly very badly. I had a voice crack, apologize. And then the second movie, they do that. I guess this is the area. I don't remember it being this area. I thought it was fiery, but sure, why not? Um, whatever else is coming, let's see. Yeah, Broly, limit breaks to uh, co-op. Great, woohoo, gotta do co-op. Hope it's really difficult this time. Can't, make, can't wait to make a rant video on it. Uh, EX Super Scout Battle coming back. <sighs> None of these are good, huh? I mean, if you main GT, go for this EX GT Kid Goku, the purple one. Uh, you know, there's not much else here that's good. Just uh, <laughs> kind of ignore this or do it if you want rare medals, I guess, because you won't need rare medals for the next Ultra. By the way, to mention uh, this Gohan, we won't know for probably an hour or two, uh, you know, after the kits get revealed and like probably like 20, 30 minutes later than that. If he's coming tonight or next week, I have a hunch because they have only done this once before and it was with the free and paid Zenkai, which it was Yellow Frieza came out the same night as EX Cell Zenkai. They both came out together and that was hell because I remember making two videos on that that night and I wanted to die from all the energy, all the shit I had to do and how tedious it was. So my guess is Goten comes this week. Next week we have another Zenkai because technically it would make sense because we got new units this weekend, then we would get another Zenkai, then next week would be an LF unit. I'm assuming like a Broly type, uh, maybe an Otherworld Goku, because, you know, Goku is on this banner image, we aren't getting his Zenkai tonight and or next week, it seems, because he's not in the data mines. So I assume something similar to that, where Gohan will drop next week, if he's coming this week, obviously, we'll know, um, you know, before reset even happens, but... That's just my guess on it. New Adventures, uh, again, co-op. This, the uh, Legends Limited Fierce Battle. Let's finish this Family Kamehameha. Super Scout Battle, like I mentioned. Uh, you know, 50 million worldwide campaign. Player campaign. Active players, as Toshi stated, I think, 17 times. Because you want people to know that they're active, I guess. Uh, new equipment from, not PvP, I guess the new event. I assume it's for Broly types, considering it's a Broly face. And then, what else here? Login bonus, whatever. Oh, I forgot to look at it. Okay, uh, Legends Ultimate 
Hiccup. And yeah, there's their Zenkai banners. This banner is really fucking good. Look, Goten wants to run with Gohan and Goku. What's on the banner? Uh, Gohan, the best unit in the game, debatably, top three. And Goku, debatably, a top three unit in the game. And then you have Zenkai Goten, who debatably will be probably a top 10 unit in the game, if not top five. Um, in it of himself, he'll probably be like top 10, but with his teams, he'll probably be like top five, right? Because his teams are insane. And then you have LF Super Saiyan for Goku, the letdown of the Sun Family units that are on this banner. Should you summon on it? I mean, quick answer, I could even make a full ass video on this. Which I probably will do, because we will have more LFs on the banner that are just unfeatured. Um, I, I would say... Look, Sun Family is going to be one of the best tags in the game for a long time, right? Just acknowledge that. Accept it. Take it. It's true. Sorry if you don't like it. I don't like it. Like, I want different teams. Personally, I like Rival Universe the best, but that's just me. Because they have no Zenkais, right? Uh, besides Khalifa, who's ass. But, disregarding all that, Sun Family is going to be one of the best teams in the game, and the way to deal with that is by using them yourself. <laughs> so, if you want to just, you know, give in to the meta of, here we go, bullshit time, go for it. Uh, maybe your Goten's like a 4-star or 6-star, and maybe your LF Gohan's like a 4-6-star. to six star. You know, it's going to be a spark and guaranteed at the end with 20 units on the banner. You'll have, I mean, a 1 in, well, a 3 in 20 chance if you're chasing any of these LFs that are zenkai to pull something that's great. Apologize for this background noise real quick because people are jackasses. Nonetheless, 3 in 20 chance to actually pull something that could be phenomenal on, well, <laughs> any Sun Family hybrid-based or Saiyan-based team with these triple. Zenkai Sun Family, what the fuck are they doing? All right. Um, oh, yeah, and this banner, they added Turles to it. So, that's cool. Um, not really like it matters, because we have two units that completely replace Turles on movies. So, woohoo! We'll come back, and we will see how Goten and, I guess, Gohan and Broly look, well, with their Zenkai's and Broly's new kit, since he is a new unit. He does buff uh, Super Saiyan Strike Attack and Defense, I believe Toshi said. So, that's the first Super Saiyan buff that we are getting, like, actual Super Saiyan, like, Z ability buff we are getting in, what, three years, two years, since, I believe, Super Vegeta, or somebody similar to that, so, that's nice, but we'll come back and see their broken kits, because Goten's gonna be broken. All right, Goten's kit is here, let's look at this demon, then we'll look at Gohan, then maybe the summons will show what date Gohan drops. So, to look at Goten, main ability, Dad! Draw the ultimate arts card, Family Kamehameha next, restore his own key by 20, plus 50% ultimate damage inflicted, 15 time accounts, if all three battle are tagged Sun Family, and Super Saiyan. Cool. Um, he got 20 key. He didn't have 20 key before, now he has 20 key. Gohan! Oh boy, I'm scared to read this shit. Applies the fly effect self a character Gohan as a battle member, when this character enters the battlefield. Draw blast arts card next, activates three times, he didn't have that before, and restore his key by 50. Okay, the following effects occur once 25 timer counts have a latch and battle start. Plus 25% of damage inflicted by ally tag Sun Family, minus 15 special move arts cost for ally character Gohan, and then uh, applies HP upgrade short and sub count by 2 to character Gohan. So that didn't change, all that changed was he draws blast when he comes in, and that's it if you have a Gohan with them, which obviously you will. Family Bonds. Oh god, I'm reading the bottom part. <laughs> okay. Applies full effects to self per tag Sun Family Battle Member when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 20% to blast damage inflicted, plus 15% strike damage inflicted, plus 20% to key recovery, and minus 3 to blast arts cost. So we got the strike damage inflicted, and that's it. Uh, everything else here he already had. Then effects reset after character switch. Additional, plus 45% to blast damage inflicted if an allied tag Sun Family is defeated. Okay. His new Zenkai Unique, Agile Combat. Applies Falling Effects to self when this character evades an enemy attack with the Vanishing Step. Restores key by 20, minus 10 special move arts cost for 10 timer counts. Nothing crazy, alright. Then the last unique, Every Ounce of Strength. Unlocks at Powerful, obviously the last unique. Applies Falling Effects to self when battle starts. Plus 15% damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Reduced guarantee by 15% cannot be cancelled. Oh my god. Restores own health by 5% when this character switches to standby, activates 3 times. Dude, 
He's gonna get 10% healing every time he switches. Minimum. Because that platinum equipment, he gets 5%. Minimum. Every time he switches. He's gonna get 10% healing every time he switches. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fair and honest and balanced. Okay. Um, this went from 40% advantage gauge recovery to 60% on his blue card. Now he gets blast damage um, up when he pops his green, and it always chain strike to blast, so that's fine. He always nullified um, uh, endurance on his ultimate, so that's perfectly fine. Nothing changed there. He sells the paralyze as he holds. Then the buffs he gives to Gohan are the same thing that he always gave to Gohan. What did he Zenkai buff? Purple Sun Family. Oh, bro. What the fuck? All right. Well. Okay, um, they didn't do anything crazy with them. Again, they didn't need to make him crazy. I'm just saying, he's gonna be one of the best units in the game. He didn't gain that much, like truly, we just look back at him before we go to Gohan, which I think will be a lot more depressing than this guy. What did he gain? Um, a little bit of blast damage here, a little bit of strike damage there. Nothing more to his buffs that he's giving, right? Uh, he just gains stuff for himself, so he draws a blast, he gets the key back, which he always had. Then he does more damage inflicted there. Then he has a little bit of uncancelable damage. The best thing he gained was his health restore. And that just gives him more sustainability. So he didn't gain anything crazy. But his stats, on top of the buffs that hybrids have, he's going to be ridiculous. I'm just letting you know now. Good luck dealing with this guy. I understand he doesn't look crazy right there. But, oh, I promise you, he'll be crazy. Alright, so this blue Gohan. I have him at 9 stars. Let's look at his stats at 9 stars when he's in Kai. And Gosen has good stats. There's no reason to look because... You'll all have the same stars, right? Like 7 or 8. Uh, this going, I have a 9 so I'll look. Holy shit, his defenses are high. 184. Okay, okay god, dude. What the hell is this shit? Main ability. This was always this crazy. Just so you know. Father. Draw the ultimate arts card. Family. Kamehameha. Next. Plus 20% of damage inflicted by allies for 20 timer counts. I think that's new, actually. Restores ally health by 15%. Yup. Restores ally health by additional 10% per defeat battle member. So let's say they have one enemy down. He's going to restore his allies by 25% on his main. And go 10. Heals 10%. Every time. He switches in. And out. Okay. Balanced. Unique ability. Okay. Let's see. Oh, they added some shit. The following effects occur based on their battle members. Uh, three battle members who seem received by 40%. Until combo ends when changing cover. Two battle members, 60% when combo ends. Or until combo ends, and then one battle member plus 4% damage inflicted. Plus you don't sub count as default. Family bonds. Um, let's see. Applies one effects to self per tag sun family battle member when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 25% to strike damage inflicted. Plus 20% to cure recovery. And then additional plus 45% to uh, strike damage inflicted if an ally tag sun family is defeated. Nothing has changed besides that one part of his main so far. Family pride. Oh god, here we go. I'm, I'm worried to read this shit. The following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 15% damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade. Plus 10 to strike and blast starts cost for 5 timer counts. Nothing crazy. Then applies the following effects to uh, enemy when changing cover. Reduce key by 20 and really show you one card, huh? Because he's going to have 40% cut. He gains no other cut anywhere. It usually is at 40%. Like, if someone dies, obviously it'll be higher. He has really good defenses, though. He's gonna be a tank. I mean, this guy's gonna be really good tanking, and he's gonna heal your team. He's literally robbery. That's just gonna do more damage, because hybrids are better. Um, blue card. What an, what an ad, by the way. Holy shit. Legend space. You're, you're goaded. Um, blue card didn't change much. Green card did the same thing as Goten, so now it's plus 20% to strike damage afflicted. It always changed the last of strikes, I believe. Then his ultimate, uh, same thing. Uh, Shorn's ally sub count by 10. Yeah, that's crazy. Then plus 30 cent to ultimate damage inflicted for your timer counts. Then what does he Zenkai buff? Blue Super say it! Oh boy, how many Zenkai buffs does Barhawk have? Himself? Namek Goku? This Gohan? Huh. Okay. Balanced! Welp. Uh, okay, so overall... Gohan doesn't look that ridiculous. Actually, let's look real quick before we look at Broly at um when he drops. I assume it's here at this point. Is it? Is it? Oh, it is. When does he drop? Don't tell me it's today. Don't tell me it's today. He drops today! <gasps> Gohan drops today. Does Goten also drop today? They both drop today? No way. Goten also drops today! 
Okay, Goten Showcase is going to be instant. Gohans will be at 1 p.m. I can't do both tonight. I, I refuse. I have two extra large coffees right next to me. I'm not doing both tonight. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Wow. Is that banner here? Um, we'll take a look at this banner right after we go over Broly. Now, I saw a little bit of him on the Legends Discord, but we're going to try to see more details of him as we continue here. Let me go to purple. Should find him here real quick. Broly, Broly, there you are. Purple Broly. Okay, so let's, let's look at his ability first, all right? Um, he can have, can teach blue card, nice. So it's six stars, super, well, let's look at 14 stars actually, because we are gonna have him 14 stars, he is free. So Super Saiyan, Strike Attack, Defense, and then 18% characters that are both powerful opponent and Super Saiyan. So, himself right? <laughs> like, there's no other powerful opponent Super Saiyan that exists. So, okay. He is a melee type, which we already knew. Let's look at 14 stars once again, because that's what we're going to have him at best. That is not bad strike damage for a free-to-play unit. Okay, sure. That's all I... Or, strike stats. Main ability. Fwa ha 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 Hope I did that right. So his own health by 25%. That's good. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 10 to all arts cost for 10 time accounts. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus 50% to health restore for 30 time accounts. That ain't bad. All right, Broly, I see you. And that's a quick main ability. Unique ability, Unrelenting Evil. Plus 30% to strike damage inflicted against tag Sun Family. Cannot be canceled. The flying effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Draw a strike arts card next. Activates three times. That's good with Bardock, because obviously drawing a card into Bardock crits is good. Restores own key by 20, plus 40% strike damage inflicted through 15 time accounts. Inflicts enemies actually downgrade, plus 40% strike damage received for 20 time accounts. This guy's gonna hit hard for like his first two strikes if you do them very quickly and they don't switch. That's really good. Okay. They didn't give him like the neutered Super Saiyan shit like they do others. Alright, okay. Applies flying effects to self and battle starts, plus 50% damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Reduced damage received by 15% cannot be cancelled. What the fuck is this? Increase card recipe by one level for 60 time accounts. Dude, that's really good. Wall's character on the battlefield applies flying effects to enemy when enemy switches characters. Reduce key by 15 and attribute downgrade minus 100% secure recovery five time accounts. This probably looks good. Oh, thank God his blue card doesn't <laughs> do faint. Thank God. It's like the only Broly besides the green one. Um, deals major explode damage, inflicts enemy attribute downgrade plus 50% to explode damage received for three time accounts upon activation. That's weird. Oh, he has the barrier green card. So just like green Broly. Nullifies enemy attacks, excluding certain moves like Rising Rush, Shockwave, Release, when barrier ends, knocks enemy back to long range on hit. Again, just like the green Broly. Then upon activation, he gets own key by 30 and cancel enemy attribute upgrades and buff effects. Okay. This Broly is looking clean. Damn, bro. They made this guy kind of good. Shit. He's gonna hit hard. You run this guy with Super Gogeta, Bardock, and himself? Dude, all you're gonna face is Sun Family, and he doesn't need to face against Sun Family to do well. Huh. Dude, he has what? 90% damage inflicted there. If it's against Sun Family, it's 120%. And he's doing that debuff, so technically, against people that aren't immune, so Sun Family units, because they aren't immune to this, uh, you know, Ashby downgrade, plus 40% strike damage received, he's gonna do 160%. Strike damage for 20, I mean, what, 15 time accounts without popping his main? Even though his main gives no damage, you know, the debuff. Whew! They hit him really fucking good. All right, Broly. Shit! I'm eager to use you. You're definitely better than the yellow Broly, your counterpart. And then to look at the banner, probably the best Legends Ultimate pickup banner that we have had because three of these units are the top five, ten units in the game. Revival of Goku's back chunks in my Broly, Vegeta, Frieza, Cooler. Not the greatest pool. <laughs> this Blue Gohan's back. EX Baby. Is Gokua back? Oh, Gokua, you didn't make it. It's tough to see. Well, uh, Goten doesn't look as busted as, you know, the other LF Zenkais like, um, I don't know, Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but he. Again, just understand his teams are what make him busted, not necessarily himself. 
I'd say he's on the level of LF Piccolo with how they increased him, right? They didn't make him, like, obscenely broken, but they didn't make him shit. Uh, this Gohan's gonna do good strike damage, the Zenkai one, the blue one here, and tank very well, and also give you a lot of sustain for your teams. So, overall, I'm really happy with this. Um, I know getting two new fucking units for Sun Family isn't fun, and hybrids, but they didn't make them ridiculous. I understand Goten will be ridiculous, but him himself isn't the craziest thing in the world, which I'm happy about, and I'm very happy that they made Broly good, because they said fuck the Super Saiyan effect, and they made Broly very good, and has decent stats at 14 stars, which I will gladly take. Let me know what you guys think of these units, and I'll see you guys in the showcase for Goten.